Okay, let's start off with the San Francisco Giants clinching a postseason spot already. Yes, mid September. Congratulations to this group. They thumped the Padres yesterday too. a big W for them. Also, just by the way, the Giants have won eight games in a row. They've won 10 of their last 11. They are the first team into the playoffs. Mm -hmm. Did you think that we would be at this point? Well, no, we didn't Not when we started the season, but once we, they got playing, uh, they've been the best team from start till now. I don't know if they're going to be the best team at the end, but uh, they They've been incredible in every way. They lead the league in home runs. I mean, they don't have more than Toronto, but they lead the National League. Uh, you know, all their veterans have been great. Posey, Belt, Longoria, uh, Crawford, who's an MVP candidate, and all the pitching moves they made were fantastic. I, I mean, obviously, Gosman gave him a, a one-year deal, but Wood was a one-year deal. Di Sclafani, a one-year deal. Uh, they basically batted 1,000. So give Farhan Zaidi, Scott Harris, and company credit, and Gabe Kapler as well. Uh, a plus for them. They weren't supposed to be good, Joel. Yeah, but I mean, I, if I were just going to agree with John and piggyback on it, you know what's amazing to me about them? They're like a team where nobody has played poorly this year. They've played good to great. I, I'll just go through this real quick. They have five batters who batted at least 250 times who have a 125 OPS plus or better, right? It's Bell Crawford, Posey, Ruff, and L Wade, Lamont Wade, right? They have five starters who've made at least 20 starts, right, with a better than 100 ERA. Their rotation, John mentioned, just most of them. And they have six relievers who've appeared in 40 games who have a 150 ERA plus or better. That's six. No other team has three, has more than three. Yeah. Like, I just you know think we should have done a better job of seeing this coming because I remember I was on a show with you months ago and you pointed out last year they had more players with it was a one, either 115 or 120 yeah. OPS plus than anybody. And they still were predicted to win 75 and a half games. So we, we should have known they were going to be better than that anyway. I, I agree. Again, I am agreeing with John because one of the things that stand, stood out about them last year is in a 60 game season, they got off to a poor start, but they played really well over the last half, right. which was only was 30 games. I think if they play the 162 last year, are we talking about the Giants a little last year like we're talking about them this year? John credited their front office and their manager. They have a little bit of the secret sauce going. They are able to identify players and play in a style to maximize talent. But still, last year they finished 29 and 31. So they missed the playoffs by game. They did have a nice finish. But even just the names you listed on offense and 125 OPS plus, 100s league average. So you're significantly better than league average. Some of the names you said, Lamont Wade Jr., Darren Ruff, those are names we did not expect to be somewhat elite bats this year. But I would even say the three other guys are from their championship core. You know, Posey Crawford Belt. Did we think those guys had no. a revival season in them? The, again, if you sit and just look, go down, who has the most plate appearances, appearances, starts? They're absent people having bad seasons. Even the people who are below average are slightly below average, and they've given them nice stuff where you're looking and go, oh, that guy's had a good year, maybe not a great year. They're, they deserve this as a team. They are winning at the margins, and they are also a ball club that has had success with some of those veteran players, like you mentioned. Yeah, I wouldn't have expected all three of them to hit and revive themselves again. So Buster Posey has been a part of this ride for about a decade now. He's been part of three championship ball clubs. He's hoping for another one. Here's what he said about this specific regular season version of the Giants. I'm really proud of what we've accomplished. Um, I mean, as far as regular season teams go, for me, this is this is number one. I mean, with the, the way we played this year from start to finish has uh, been nothing like I've been a part of. Number one. Let's put some numbers to this, and it's not exactly comparable, but wins above replacement, for example, right? Comprehensive stat, and here's war with MLB ranks per season for San Francisco, looking at the three championship ball clubs, and then this year, and keeping in mind, War is a counting stat. It keeps adding up. There's three weeks left in the season. 48 is the number. That's by far the best we've seen from the Giants comprehensively, which is kind of playing to your point. Yeah, you know, just their, la their nickname as a team is similar. I always thought the 10, 12, and 14 San Francisco Giants were like the two most recent New York Giant football team Super Bowls where they didn't play, they played well during the season, but nobody imagined them as championship caliber teams. They kind of got in, you know, because there was an expanded playoff, stuff like that. The Giants were like that. They'd catch fire in October. I think it's where Bruce Bochy made his Hall of Fame bones by being able to manipulate a bullpen 
in specific well. They played great in October. They played well all season and great in October. This team has played great from April to now. You know, I hadn't seen that tape before. I think he got it exactly right. I've been hearing that he said it was the best team. It's the best regular season team that he's played for. I don't think there's any question about that. Nobody expected those teams to go in there and win championships with the, with the talent that they had. They did it. Give them all the credit in the world. I think Bochi was a big part of that. Obviously, Bumgarner, Kane, Lincecum, the other pitchers they had. Huge part of that. It's going to be interesting to see whether this team, which is the best, I don't think there's any question, it is the best regular season team that he has played on, whether they can run that gauntlet just as easily as those other teams did. Some of those teams did it surprisingly easily with that pitching. Now, their pitching is very good, but, you know, I mean, obviously, Bat Madison Bumgarner is an all-time great postseason pitcher. I don't know that anybody's going to duplicate that. Lincecum was a two-time Cy Young winner. They don't have that on the staff. It's going to be interesting to see how they navigate the postseason. Regular season, he's absolutely right, 100%. We've never seen Logan Webb in the playoffs yet, but he's nasty. I yes. mean, he is, he is becoming something Lately, very special, so unhateable. we'll see. And they're trying to play to the motto, too, with the T-shirts, right? Built for October, even though, like you mentioned, those teams in the past were kind of built for October and won in October. We'll see if that's the case.